Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Taru and today I am bringing you the second and final update for the Harry Potter and the Cursed Project, Project Fan. This is a Fantastic Ladies collab created by Amanda and Jessica. I believe they did this together or oh, it's Amanda, I'm not sure. <laughs> Anyways, I will have everyone and the Fantastic Ladies link down below. So, so yeah, go check them out. But anyways, yeah, this is a short three months project and we have one month left and six products in this project. Let's go through them. So first one is a product that inspires you to play and I chose the Revolution Glitter Glue and no, I am not trying to finish this one. I just wanted to play with it and it finally changed in weight. Now it is 12.2 grams, so it lost 0 0.2 grams. So yay, and I can like feel it getting thinner. There is definitely air, but I can't, it's so thick that I can't like shake it and push the air out, but yeah. I have used it and yeah, I am wearing everything in this project on my face today, so yeah. Uh, then the next one is product that seems cursed because it never ends. And the Revolution Ultra Contour Palette that is kind of beat up and there's pan! <laughs> yeah, quite a big pan. So that was my goal to hit pan on that last bronzer that's in here. So super excited. Um, it took less time than I thought it would, like compared to the other bronzer that was in here. A, I like, I thought it would go like to the last month that I hit pan, but actually. I hit pan like in the middle of this cut between last update and this one. So yeah, super exciting. I will keep using this one now that I still have my tan, so it like works. So you will see a bigger pan hopefully in the finale. But that is my goal met. So at least something <laughs> in this project. Uh, then the next one is Time Turner, which is a oldest product in a category. And I chose the super old, the Body Shop lip liner. And as you can see, it's getting tiny and it's on my face, almost, whatever. And yeah. There are my lines, so I made I made good progress with this one, so I am very happy. And first, like at some point I was like, I'm sure if I can get this one done, and I was like, it has to be done, I mean it's so old, it's like I have to use it. And then I have been using it more and realizing I... If I reapply it, I pretty much have to sharpen it every day. So, yeah, that's good. So, hopefully this one will be done by the finale. Then, the next one is Sword of Gryffindor, and that is something silver, ruby or hourglass. And I chose the elf silver eyeshadow, and it had pan last time, now it is bigger, so yay for that. I'm not sure if I can use this completely up by the finale because it's, it is a work appropriate color but it doesn't really hold the whole work day. I mean I'm wearing it right now 
and I have to use the glitter glue with this one otherwise it will just crease but with even with the glitter glue it kind of like fades but I will try to use this at least a few times because it would be cool to have some eyeshadows out of but it changed in weight uh, in the beginning it was 1.6 then it was 1.5 now it is 1.3 grams so at least <laughs> some, some progress then the next one is Slither, Slytherin's Locket and that is something glittering green and I chose a eyeliner from I had Revolution and yeah this too is getting shorter but yeah I'm I'm not going to finish this one it's just too much <laughs> for a month and I'm not sure if you can see but I like put kind of like thick line with this one and then a thin black line under it I'm not sure if the camera is picking up but that is kind of like my favorite way to use this so if I use just this it kind of looks a bit bland but if I put the black like under it or <laughs> then it kind of like looks more put together so yeah I have been really enjoying this one and I made some progress so yeah that much so like <laughs> way more than last time so I'm happy if I make that much progress then I will be pleased with this product because yeah I well I knew from the beginning I would probably probably Oh, it's hard to speak today. <laughs> I wouldn't probably use this whole thing up, but any use is good use, in my opinion. Which brings us to the last product, which is parts one and two, something that comes in two. And I pick the Elf Brow Duo in Ash. And yeah, it's not going very <laughs> so I've been working on this corner it was kind of like straight at the beginning which was two months ago so that's how much progress I made in two months so I'm not sure if I can even get like in halfway by the finale but it, I'm not sure and I feel like the powder is like moving even slower it was like straight and I have been using it here course like opposite sides um, and yeah I would love to hit the corner by the finale but I don't know my brows are super fair and I don't want to scare myself like doing them too strong so it is what it is but I use it every day I do my makeup so the weight has changed like consistently and it was 34.7 then it was 0.5 now it's 0.3 so i have used 0 0.2 grams like in the past two months so i've used it but it's it's slow it's cursed as well but anyways um yeah i am pretty happy some harder ones and some hopefully will be done and some goals like met already I mean basically I wanted to use this I have been using it so <laughs> but anyways thank you so much for watching and until next time bye